Hi everyone, this is Grant Christensen. This summer, on August 13th, I passed by the fifth anniversary of my cancer diagnosis. I remember it so clearly. My wife Nancy was at work. It was on a Monday afternoon. My mom was home with me. And the phone rang and it was my urologist calling about the results of a biopsy I'd had the week before. He told me I had cancer that it was a Gleason 7, a moderately aggressive prostate cancer. And for those of you who know Gleason scores, it was a pattern 4-3. And then he added that it was four times more likely to kill me than a Gleason 6 cancer. I was shocked. He hung up the phone and I was reeling with a tsunami of emotions. I didn't tell my mom I wanted to tell my wife first when she got home from work I told her and then later that evening we told my mom but that night at 4 a.m. I woke up to the thought I have cancer and it was terrifying fear growing and building in my heart I thought about all of the if only's if only I had gone to a different doctor if only I had not let fear get a hold of me and put off getting the biopsy. If only I had gotten that biopsy a year or two earlier. And then while all of the what ifs, what if it's metastasized? And at that time I didn't know it, but it had already metastasized to my right pubic bone and to my pelvic floor. It was terrifying to me because I had watched both of my parents die from cancer when I was young from the age of 12 to 15 I watched my mother succumb to bre breast cancer metastatic breast cancer through a horrible journey and then when I was in my late 20s my dad died from a very rare Gleason 10 very aggressive cancer that took him within a year But God met me, met me that night, and he gave me a verse. And ironically, it's the same verse that he'd given my wife years before, even before I met her. She was going in for a biopsy for possible breast cancer, and she too was struggling with fear. And the Lord gave her this verse, Isaiah 41.10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Some versions read victorious right hand. So it begins with do not fear. Well, a cancer diagnosis brings on all kinds of fears. It feels like a death sentence. Do not fear. And it gives us the reason why we're not to fear. For I am with you. He is Emmanuel, God with us. He is the one who has promised that he will never, by no means, never, ever leave us nor forsake us. And then it goes on and it says, Do not anxiously look about you. In the days following my cancer diagnosis, I was anxiously looking about me a lot. Looking at doctors, which doctors to go to, reading about uh, Gleason 7 cancer, prostate cancer, reading about prostatectomies and radiation, all the treatments, re reading about side effects, and oftentimes with the reading would come information that I didn't want to know, such as only 25% of people with the kind of cancer I, I had would make it to year 5. Well, this verse reeled me back in. It pulled me back in. Do not anxiously look about you. And he gives us the reason. For I am your God. For Yahweh, the one through whom all things were created, the one in whom all things hold together, he remains my God. And then it goes on and it gives us three promises. So the first two lines or what we are to do and it's really a matter of keeping our focus on God do not fear for I am with you so keeping our focus on his presence with us 
And secondly, do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. So instead of looking anxiously about us, we are to look to him with the eyes of our faith. And then it gets on to three pro uh, promises that he will do. I will strengthen you. Surely I will uphold, I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous or victorious right hand. Surely I will strengthen you. There have been times in this cancer journey that I've been so weak I could hardly make it from the bed to the recliner. Either reeling from fatigue from the radiation or from the hormone deprivation therapy. Reeling from migraines that were severe. From side effects from medications I've been on. But he strengthened me. Surely I will help you. There are so many times when I've been beyond helping myself. When I was far beyond the end of my rope. And as I look back at my life, I couldn't see his help in the moment. But as I look back, I could see his help over and over again. When appointments were made, which I would thought I would have to wait months for. Surgeries that openings opened up so I could have them sooner and not have to wait and so on and so on and then surely I will uphold you with my righteous or my victorious right hand one thing I've learned in 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 this battle of cancer is I cannot uphold myself there are times when I'm so far out over my head I come to the end of my rope and in some senses, I've let go of the rope, and yet he has upheld me with his righteous right hand. I like these three promises, and somebody could say, well, those promises were made to Israel. But I love that verse in 2 Corinthians 1.20 that says, For all of the promises of God, for all of the promises of God, find their yes in him, or I've supplied Jesus. For all of the promises of God find their yes in Jesus, including those three. That is why we utter the Amen through him. That is why we utter the so let it be through Jesus to the glory of God. So these three promises, I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Find their yes in Jesus. And so they are promises to you and to me. So again, hear these words from the God on high, from the one who holds all things together, from the one through whom all things were created. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So I took that verse and I put it on cardstock, printed on cardstock. You could write it out or, and then I put it under my pillow and I had a little flashlight that when I would wake up in the middle of the night to the, that thought, I have cancer. And I suspect that if you have cancer, all of you have woken to that thought in the middle of the night, to that terrifying thought, I have cancer. I would take out the card and turn on my flashlight and read that verse. Sometimes I'd read it over and over again, letting the Holy Spirit sink that truth in, into my spirit. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not anxiously about, look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Surely. Surely. I pray that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you through these words. But maybe you have your own verse that you might print out on a card and put under your pillow for those nights when the night terror comes. May the Lord bless you. May you know that he is Emmanuel, God with you. Amen.